a full steam ahead in terms of ensuring that we can increase the numbers of our students participating in STEM and STEAM, and, and that is how we put to rest the issue of rote memorization. You can't do rote memorization in STEM. We have to really participate in the learning process and make sure that we can get the critical mass that, with the critical minds that we need for our transformation. You see, I always say that uh, from my experience in the U.S. going back to Ghana, we have good children in Ghana, so respectful. But I go to schools upon schools, and I speak with the students. And when I finish speaking with them, I'll say, do you have a question for me? No hand goes up. A hand is just to go up in all my encounters in Ghanaian classrooms. We have tamed the children. We just want them to write down what we tell them. At the day of exams, they should put down what we have told them. We say you are the best student the country has ever known. That kind of education system will not transform Ghana. That kind of education system is not going to give us critical thinking individuals, especially since we are um, in the 21st century and education 4.0, the fourth industrial revolution. You can memorize your way out of poverty but you can critically think and innovate out of poverty. So Ghanaian schools, Africans will have to begin to take a serious look at what are called assertive curriculum. A curriculum that empowers the African child to ask questions and challenge the status quo respectfully within the African cultural context. But not a curriculum that tells the African child to be quiet and don't say anything when the adult is speaking. And tell the adult back, tell him back wherever he was told, that kind of education system, I don't care if we get to the point where every African child is in school. If you put all of them in school and do not change the way you teach them by empowering them to be assertive individuals, you will still not transform Africa through education. 